Hey guys, this is Nina and I just wanted to check in because pretty soon I'm gonna be on my way to see D Capella, which is a Disney acapella group. The lighting was a little wonk there, so I'm moving. But basically, this acapella group sings exclusively Disney songs, so I am so excited about this about it from someone who posted about it in the Disney YouTubers group and I was like wow a Disney acapella group this sounds amazing so I YouTube them and it was amazing and then I was like if she saw them live maybe I could and it turned out the next Saturday they were gonna be in my town so I was like freaking out Not sure what songs we're gonna see but I'm gonna make sure to link some of my favorite decapella songs that I've heard so far down below I know as Disney fans you're gonna love it I know know you're gonna love them. Where is Linda? I want to go. I fed the cat. I got tissues. Got my camera. I am ready. And I've got the tickets. In case you're wondering, I do have the tickets. Hi Linda. Please. So what's nice about where we're at is that it's round. So no matter where you're sitting, you're in a good seat. Also really great is that there are people rocking their mouse ears here. I didn't want to be the one to do it. There's no adults doing it, but there are kids who are doing it.
minute intermission, which I'm a little shocked about. And I was thinking it was going to be uh, like an hour and a half long show, not needing an intermission. But from what I've seen, it's very good, and I know you all would love it. There are lots of kids here, so if you have kids and they're touring near you, I totally recommend you go. It's a super fun time for the whole family and just for the adults, too. So if you've enjoyed any of the snippets in this video, be sure to let me know which was your favorite and all the songs they perform, I believe, are on their YouTube channel, so you should be able to find it. Not to mention the secret highlight of the show it was before the show, my friend Linda and I were talking and this kid turns around and was like, please don't curse in front of me. Is that what he said? Please don't curse because I can hear it? I let the F-bomb drop. Well, I didn't even notice it. Once. It wasn't like a distinct F-bomb. One. It was subtle. And he turns around very pointedly and says, excuse me, you're in a show with a lot of children. Please don't curse. And I said, okay. And then I said, it's rude to eavesdrop. Turn around, you little shit. Didn't get to say that, but. but. <laughs> F that when I found out there was an intermission, but now we're online to get Zeppeli, so all's fair, all's fair. Hopefully they're done soon. I did see that the kid had Pokemon Go on his phone, so I was li willing to forgive him a bit, but you know. Summer for the Incredibles Day. Orlando, why don't you tell them about it? Yeah, so we had a chance to record four uh, songs on the digital soundtrack for the Incredibles 2. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Glory Days. <coughs>
want a quick update is the kid who told us to start to stop cursing also told the performers to stop singing. He just started heckling them and he shouted out, stop singing. And then he went to say, don't sing one more song. And the mom was like, we're getting out of here. And as she took him out, you could hear him screaming, you suck. And I was like, wow, he really worked the system because he wanted to get out of there. And he found a way and he got out of there.